Hello and welcome to 3D Sunshine with me, Wizard Keen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be doing stuff in virtual reality. We're going to be loading our world. I've got a special um, Minecraft world called 3D Sunshine. There it is, back there. There, there, there we go, 3D Sunshine. Uh, 3D Sunshine is beta, blah, blah, I don't care. That's fine. All right, let, let's get in there. Let's get in. Whoa, whoa, that's big. That's huge. And you can see I've already started. I did something. I'm going to shrink this wall down a little bit, and I'm going to reposition the wall. I don't want any of this. I actually want to. Um, I want to kind of create something. So I'm going to just stretch my world out a little bit. I probably don't need it that wide, but I need it that long. So I'm going to just move this backwards over here, probably all the way over here, and load my world. I need this kind of bit of the world. I know there's a tail. Let's grab this over here. I know there's. Uh, today, I suppose I better just tell you what I'm doing. Today. I am, let's load the area, there we go. I am creating uh, a dinosaur. <laughs> or attempting to, anyway. I'm going to be drawing a dinosaur, at least from memory. Um, so, <laughs> there it is. Come over here. Come here. There we go. Perfect. So this is my working area. You can see I'm in a flat world at the moment. It's my 3D sunshine world, my little test area here at World. So what? this is what I've got. This is what I've got to play with, this area here. I'm going to actually lift this back up there. Up there. That's the, kind of the, the height of it as well. So that's what I'm working with. I need to get hold of some material. So let's go over here and find my materials that I'm going to work with. Let's do something in quartz. Uh, this stuff here. So I'm going to take this bit of quartz here and just plop it right down the middle. Okay. I'm going to make this one my draw tool and this one my delete tool. Okay. So I've got draw on this hand and delete on this hand. And I want to just start off in the middle. I'm going to draw up a little kind of uh, a little kind of area like that. So that's my kind of that's my stand, if you like. So from this point, from this uh, section here, I'm going to be able to draw my dinosaur out uh, using quartz as my block. So dinosaur, I'm going to do a tr I'm going to do a tri uh, tri triceratops, no, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's what I'm going to do because it's re there. It's reasonably easy. That that's its kind of tail. Okay, it's got a kind of a a, 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 a bird, almost like a bird body. Okay, uh, so this is it's this kind of tail. So I'm kind of drawing out, and it's got a big old head. Okay, okay, there's its there's its head. So I'm kind of, and then it's got uh, its legs, and it's got its little arms. <laughs> so that that's a kind of the side drawing of it. But that's not that is not very good at the moment. So that's just our kind of our plan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my now I can use my delete tool, and I can kind of delete away. At, at my the thing that kind of connected it to the world because now it's still connected to the world um, but I want to now kind of think about its other leg over here as well okay and maybe kind of we've got to think about how I want it to move so I've got to think about uh, the, this is rib cage it's got a kind of a, a plate over here so this is a lot of a metatarsal uh, leg joint over here and then it's and then it's uh, and then its tail over here as well. And it's got a big head, famous for kind of massive jaws. Okay. And now I've got to do this in 3D. So we're gonna sort of we're gonna arrange this so I'm kind of working on the side like this, so I can kind of really get into it with my tools that I've got over here. So I'm gonna probably I'm gonna just see where where the actual kind of you know feel around the kind of that's kind of a one side of its, its body. It's got these two kind of like, its hips over here like this. Okay, and these are kind of hip areas. Uh, and then of course it's got this big, big rib cage. Okay, for, for when you get swallowed by a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you end up in its tummy, which is right <laughs> around about here. So we're going to kind of, uh, we're going to try and uh, make this uh, rib cagey like. So that looks quite, quite fun. Um, and then it's also got its little hands. So it's got tiny little claws on both sides. Okay, and I'm just going to sort of sketch them in loosely. Okay, uh, and then of course I can kind of I'm going to sketch in the head loosely as well. So there's a part. Of, well, there's part of one jaw. And I'm going to kind of draw it in. Okay. And now I'm going to turn this around so we can kind of see it on this side as well. And 
kind of really kind of blob it up. Because we can kind of, I can use my, I can use my delete tool to work into it and to make it look really awesome. But I can do that later on, you know. Cool. We need that kind of, we need that big jaw connecting over here. That's, that's looking good. Now, one of those arms doesn't look right, does it? It looks kind of here. So we're going to just sort of start deleting using my delete tool and kind of get into there. Okay. And again, these legs don't look right either. So we're going it, to... The actual foot, it's got toes that come out down here as well. So I'm going to kind of try and make those toes... Try and make one foot work a little bit further, like working back, and then this this foot down here, kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of stepping, 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 stepping. So there we go. There's a rough sketch of what he looks like. Um, let's get these rib cage sort of things done. Now let's get some uh, spine stuff done here as well. So we kind of, you know, these vertebrae all sorted out as well so it looks more like a, a skeleton it's not going to be completely accurate I am doing it from memory it would be great if we could if I could have a an image this is what I really like for kind of some of the things that because uh, uh, I'm I'm you know I'm in this world right I'm this is my this is my studio this three-dimensional studio and I can kind of you know, I can grab and grab all these things and move them about. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to have not only an inventory here, but I'd also like to have. Uh, I don't really need that. And there's my trash can. I'll put that over there. I'd like to have a picture. So I've got a reference image. So I'd like to have a reference image so I can go. Yeah, I've got that bit wrong, or, or or this bit needs this bit needs sorting out. This bit would be really cool if I could have that. That'd be really, really amazing. So I am having to do this by memory. So it does take me a little bit longer to kind of figure out how to make it work. <laughs> so uh, actually, I'm going to swap. I'm going to swap hands because my I'm right-handed. So this is my my right hand is my kind of drawing hand. So now I'm kind of drawing with my delete tool. Okay. So I'm kind of carving out all the bits that I don't want. Okay. Um, so really, really, there's sort of bits over down here which I kind of don't need as well. It might be also kind of a good idea to kind of maybe have a brush tool, so I can kind of actually change the size of my brush. So I can kind of actually let's change the size of my perspective. Let's go way in. Okay, this is this is this is cool. Look at this, this is the neat thing about this project, this uh, 3D sunshine, is that you can kind of really get. <laughs> Let's come back a bit, actually. Come back over here. I can really get and see this thing from a very unique perspective. Okay. So when we're doing, um, when we're creating Minecraft builds, literally, we're kind of, we're really close up to it. So sometimes you get a bit further away, um, which can mean that um, it starts to look a bit weird. This is great. So these are all these little things. I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna concentrate on the rib cage now. And kind of really think about the individual ribs going as well. This is much more of a sketch than a realism. Okay. Okay, that's looking good. Alright, let's go now into the jaw. Shrink it down a tiny little bit. Up close, so I can kind of get my delete tool and then get in here as well. Think about its eye, its eye sockets, which are going to be kind of roughly about here, and then you kind of make a defining jaw that's going to come down over this side as well. Make a little bit of a cavity inside of its mouth too. Uh, so maybe I need to. This side, so I'm going to swap hands again and uh, sort of drawing in a bit as well. Really the, jaw, the side of the jaw. 
jewels that work for that. And uh, I'm going to get the other I don't know if you've seen jewels, but they're kind of they're almost all at the, at the base, aren't they? They almost don't have anything at the base, and it really kind of makes it very special. Another way of doing this would be as well is to draw half of it and then do the other half. Um, uh, mirror it, so it would be great as another kind of a, another thing I'd like uh, to happen. Another tool I would like to happen with uh, 3D Sunshine is is basically a select tool and a mirror tool as well. Be amazing to kind of like uh, select pieces, put them, and then mirror them. I don't know if that uh, is actually if I've, if I've been. I don't, you know, if I haven't actually seen it. Maybe maybe I'll have a little investigate. Maybe it is there. Know about it. And these are its little claws. Yeah. And I'm not sure how that's all connected. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's another. Uh, and a bit of a, 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 a top part. Maybe there's some shoulder. There should surely be, should be some shoulder something. Sort of there, shouldn't there? Okay, that's cool, that's looking cool. So I'm going to sort of draw an eye. Let's really get into this. This is jaw. Some names or stuff. Let's get this bit of a little shallower front of its nose over here, I think. Um, It's really cool, actually. There we go. Okay. Kind of. Again, this is me practicing uh, working in 3D. Okay. And um, one of the things I've kind of promised myself this year is to be able to get r much, much better at, at kind of this th 3D tools and virtual reality and kind of making sure that um, that I, you know, I've got kind of drawing uh, and, and some artistic skills as well. But uh, I haven't used them in a long time, and I'd like to get kind of better and better at it. And so the, one of the things that really kind of makes you able to get better and better at these kind of these kind of things is practice. Okay, practice, practice, practice. You know, every day do a little bit of work. Uh, actually, that is right. I need to kind of. I think the arms are down here. So in actual fact, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to um, I'm going to try to make these a big little blob like that. There we go. That makes sense. There we go. That's cool. So I'm going to delete these bits as well. And kind of really make a kind of a neck bit here, okay? Um, and really see that the difference between the neck and the um, and the arms. Let's swap these over a little bit as well. That's a bit better. Okay, 
Well, we're getting there. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. Honestly, that, that you have just almost like two fingers. There we go. Okay. Let's just turn this around and see what we've got going on here. That looks pretty good. Um, it's, I think it could be better. I think I could be better at doing the jaw a little bit. Maybe that jaw's got... Um, maybe it's deeper down this bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's... Like, that side looks... Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I've got to fill it in at the top. Maybe it makes it kind of very solid. Again, this is why I think kind of brushes might be good to sort of manipulate this stuff. Because uh, now we're kind of we're into kind of almost like um, doing it piece by piece. But if I had something that could just sort of blend, blend things together, but that looks looking pretty good as a as a sort of as a silhouette. I think it looks pretty nice. Let's just tidy up over on this side over on this side of it over here as well we've got kind of I delete these ones over here and then I think what we'll do is we're gonna we're gonna save it and we're gonna look at it inside of Minecraft itself as well so let's just draw this this over here and see how it uh, see how it all, all fares <laughs> anyway the the best thing is that this you know this stuff it's enjoyable okay uh, that's <laughs> as it should be it should be fun enjoyable uh, and uh, and something that we kind of take pleasure in you know the, the drawing and creating stuff at the same time so there we go I've got my three toes over there I've got my big uh, let's delete some of this stuff over here kind of make this a bit more bony the structure bony structure up in the side uh, this is amazing so holes there we go. I like it. I think I've got a lot more work to do on the head. I think the head's been the thing that's really kind of bothered me on the whole thing. But the rest of it is not too bad. Okay, so let's save it. Save it. Uh, your order's been saved. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to exit 3D Sunshine. I'm going to go into Minecraft and have a look at it in Minecraft 2. So here we are in Minecraft, and you can see my uh, 3D sunshine world. I've got my Christmas tree in the background as well. Uh, over here, I've got uh, one that I did earlier. Okay, a little trial. Uh, so I'll show you that one first of all. And it was done in white glass. Um, and it was, uh, it was pretty good. Smaller head, obviously. But let's have a look at my uh, the one that I've just achieved now. So let's have a look at it. The head is quite big, isn't it? Uh, but um, but quite fun. Let's, let's, let's fly down to the, the ground and see what it feels like. Well, it certainly looks impressive and quite large too. <laughs> so, uh, quite a lot of fun I had kind of creating this. And of course, I could even kind of, uh, I can even go in this uh, and break this stuff up and maybe even put some half steps in there as well. So, for an initial kind of build, I think, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. I think the rib cage could be bigger. I think I've got some proportions a little bit wrong. Uh, but apart from that, I'm really pleased with it. And it was a good practice run to kind of get going and to show you guys what I've been doing as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, do join me again for some more uh, virtual reality uh, 3D Minecraft builds. Uh, do let me know in the comment section below as well uh, if you've got any suggestions that you'd like to see me kind of build within here as well. Uh, I'm really keen on uh, on kind of doing this weekly, if not twice weekly, uh, and getting kind of very excited about kind of uh, developing my skills uh, as a VR artist. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Do hit the subscribe button. And uh, do, don't forget to give this video a like if you have liked it. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye.